Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes. Welcome, welcome. And today it is Erin Makes With. This is our next episode of this amazing crafty show that I have started. It's a crafty talk show. We do a little bit of crafting, a little bit of talking, and have a ton of fun. So welcome, welcome. This is an episode, or this is a series that I do about once a week, usually on Fridays, but today we did a special Saturday. So welcome to the Erin Makes With show. So today, my special guest is Eileen Hull. So I'm going to bring her in, and we're going to change this so we're a little closer. Hello, hello. Welcome, hey, welcome. everybody. Hi, hey. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it, I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you. I know you've, we, we've been chatting online a lot, but the last right. time I saw you, we were at the spring the alt, alt the palm summit. springs the alt summit yeah. that was the name the alt summit yeah that, that was, was such fun. a fun show we it went was. to oh right did you, okay, what, did you get out of that yeah right before the virus like literally there was one company that was there like they had there was little booths of different companies and it was right. all paper crafting it was a little bit about if you're a woman with a business right um this is a way to give you some inside tips and ideas but there was some crafting stuff and there was some blogging and instagram we went to a couple of instagram little seminars together uh flat late one is the one that right. we did together that's right but I found uh, my yeah there was umbrella the other day <laughs> <Thought of you. laughs> my bag is literally right there they gave us a, so you'd show up to these so little cute. seminars and sometimes yeah. they would have things to give you from whatever that's company right. and, and that company had like a little baggie of stuff it was so yes. cute <laughs> <laughs> we're easily pleased. We were so pleased. We were like, we have a tiny little two cent umbrella. <laughs> we were that so was fun. But I did learn something. I've I like definitely have upped my Instagram game since then. Yeah. Um, in my flat lays. I don't know. Did what was there anything you got from that conference? Uh, you... I should have upped my game, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what I should do. <laughs> Someday I might. That was definitely my last hurrah of going out and being anywhere was being at that event. Yeah. We also went to Disneyland right before that because I had my kids with me. That was one oh, crazy time. Right. Yeah. That was literally, yeah, one company decided they left a day early because they had like a booth to go and check out their right. stuff because they were told, come home yeah, now, get, we're shutting down, no more travel. Yeah. And at that point, I should have been like, ding, 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 should've but I didn't. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> didn't click in. <laughs> no, and we, we were okay too, luckily. Yeah. Yeah, our my flight home that day, uh, we found out that Austin has South by Southwest, and that flight home should have been packed. And I think there was like eight people on the plane. Ooh. Every kid had their own row. They were so wow. happy. <laughs> but that was the really weird, like something's wrong here. That was a strange time. Yeah, very strange. Well, so do you have any fun plans for Easter? Anything going on for you uh, this weekend? Yeah. We have the kids, our two little grandsons are coming over and their parents, my children, <laughs> and um, we're going to have an egg hunt. So I have to clean, still cleaning to get ready. And um, not that they're going to care, but we're going to have brunch. So that'll be nice. And um, maybe go to church, hopefully. So that's the plan. Are your churches back in person again? Yeah, or are they, they yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. I know some areas are and some aren't, so yeah. I wasn't sure. Because where know. do you, you live East Coast? Yeah, I live um, right outside of D.C. Okay, that's right. I knew that. I knew East Coast, but like, but you, you drive, drive around a bunch. I keep yes, saying I'm I going do. to New York and I'm going to here <laughs> and I'm going to there. <laughs> you guys get around. <laughs> Very jealous. <laughs> I can't wait to do it some more. Yeah, hopefully soon. I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. I can see you guys. I was just looking at that. Anna, We've got Penny, Laura, Maria, Anthony. Tony. Penny. <laughs> Laura, Brenda, Juliana, Loanne. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Good Big old group. Guys. Welcome, welcome, everybody. If we missed anybody, we're so sorry. We're like, you guys are like, yeah, we can only us left and right here. There's Cheryl and Jane. They're at the top and bottom. That's what I can see. There so. you go. <laughs> Lots of fun people here. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, right do you guys hide Easter eggs. Do you hide like the chocolate ones outside? Because here well, in Texas, I don't know if this is like a tradition, we have these things called cascarones, where it's like an, an egg that they've cleaned out, like a real egg. So it's just the oh. shell. And then they fill them with confetti. And then they put a little bit of tissue paper on top to hold it all together. Yeah. And they dye the eggs as well. And then we, because wow. it can get kind of hot here in Texas. Yeah. So I don't like to put the candy out because it just gets all melty and gross. Yeah. I think we're going to be okay because it's not so hot this weekend. But they're just confetti eggs is all they are, but they're called wow. cascarones. And you can get buy them by the dozen. 
No, and I've never seen them. So you hunt them, but then the after the best part is, is when the hunt is over, you have all these confetti eggs, and then you go and smash on people's heads, and they're covered. Oh, in wow, no! I so you have like basically fun. like a confetti egg fight. Oh, it's really fun. What a mess! I'm glad we didn't. Know That's why it's about outside. That. Outside. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't do anything that exciting. We have little plastic eggs which we hide with like jelly beans or whatever for the little kids because right. they would break. Th the real eggs. The real eggs are just to be pretty, and I put them in a bowl and put them on the counter. So, and you do you have the kids eggs. help you make those? The real eggs? Uh, the well, ones? when my kids were little, we did, but you know, they don't live here, so they're not going to be here tonight at like two a.m. when I'm probably going to be dying them. <laughs> <laughs> You're a last minute egg dyer. I got oh, it. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm a last minute everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's too yeah. fun. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> We don't eat hard boiled eggs in our family. So I feel like if I was going to make dyed eggs, they would just go to waste. Oh, see, if you get them, them in the refrigerator soon enough, you can do deviled eggs or egg salad, oh. which we, I like. So, yeah. <laughs> I like <laughs> eggs. I just don't like the hard boiled. It's, it's oh, okay. the mushy factor. I guess it's, yeah. I, don't, I think it's, this is, I think this is what it is for me. I eat a hard boiled egg or like a deviled egg, but you still get the hard boiled part. Right. It squeaks when you bite it into it. It is squishy. Yeah, that's true. It's weird, but that's it's like true. squeaky. <laughs> you know, we had a very interesting discussion on my Facebook page the other day because my son-in-law said, does anybody add milk? What do you add to your scrambled eggs? Do you add milk to scrambled eggs? Because my daughter did. Ah. Right. Then there was this whole lengthy 100 comments about how people make their scrambled eggs. So I get it. Eggs are very uh, personal things. So. They're very yeah. particular. Yeah. <laughs> I love scrambled eggs. I think my yeah. favorite, though, is a sunny side. Eggs have to oh, be yeah. about Easter, so we're talking about eggs. A sunny side up, and I figured out the best way so it doesn't get all hard and crunchy. Uh -huh. It's just nice and soft. And then the right. yolk is nice and runny. I'm a, I'm a love a runny egg yolk. Ugh. Yeah, it's my favorite. I <laughs> see, and no, you're just like, you. no. <laughs> see, everybody has their thing Ramble about eggs. I'd love to know. I know. Yep. Uh, uh, I'd love to know. Like, okay, this is just a fun question. So, you've you've just opened up, you know, Pandora's box on eggs. <laughs> what is your favorite way of having eggs? Let's go with that and well, comment. Please comment. Get, everybody else watching, what go. is your favorite way? <laughs> you're gonna hear about it. You add cheese. Yep. Cheryl adds cheese. Okay. Con confetti eggs. Mary Helen likes that idea. <laughs> warm yeah everybody's talking about their eggs yeah <laughs> puerto rico yeah oh there's so many fun ways but like i yeah. said sunny side up runny egg over like crunchy hash browns that's my favorite oh. or like pour some hollandaise sauce over that sucker don't even get started on the potatoes but yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's another Those one that you can do ten thousand different ways yeah. but you don't have a favorite egg or you do oh scrambled yeah scrambled just plain scrambled plain scrambled no yep. cheese or anything fun added. Oh, I would I would not say no. I wouldn't turn it down if I didn't have to make it. <laughs> I think that's the key thing. If I don't have to make it, if somebody yeah. else makes it for me, right? I'll probably eat just about anything for the yep. most part. Ooh, poached, post poached are good. Okay, they're coming in. Yeah, here we go. Poached are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're here oh. about crafting and talking yes. about crafty chat, and I have like you can just see some little fun things behind me, but you have been exploding is the best way I can describe it. Every time I turn around, you've got a new thing out. You're working with a new company. You've got new stuff going on. How did it all start? Where did it all begin? I'd love to know the, the uh, beginnings of this well, whole amazing it all adventure. Started. Okay. I, my husband was in the military as yours is, mm -hmm. and we have four little kids and bath time was not my favorite. So I was making all these little stitched samplers and things. And there was a craft shop on post. So I could go over and mat and frame them. So I would say after dinner, I'm going over to the craft shop. And I would go mat and frame these stitchery things. So after a while, I wound up keeping all of the leftover it's called fallout, you know, what falls out of the middle when you cut it and making little books and things out of it. But um, the thing about it was it was hard to get a consistent cut with the same right pressure and all that. So um, at the same time, I started going to, um, well, it was CHA at the time. And 
I happen to have some samples with me and somebody said, and honestly, I didn't even really know what it, I knew what die cuts were vaguely, but mm-hmm. they said, you need to talk to this company, you know, a company about, you know, die cutting these or something to get an even cut. And so right. I did, I, I, uh, and I'd written a book for, um, the company whose mat cutter I use, cause I use my mat cutter first to, to get these cuts. At least I would get straight cuts. Mm-hmm. And I'd written a book called Matt Board Magic. And so luckily I had my book in hand to go to this company, to Sizzix, and say, you know, hey, I have this idea. Could you cut a die, uh, make a die that would add in these score lines so you could cut thick stuff like Matt Board? And they're like, ooh, that's a cool idea. Hey, Tanya. And it's so distracting. I want to say hi to everybody. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead and say hi. We could do that. that. <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> so that was how it all got started. And that was 12 years ago or 13 years ago, really, when we signed contract and then it took them a while to kind of, you know, perfect the uh, technology and get it right and get me figured out on how to use Illustrator because uh, I had no idea how to use Illustrator. I had to buy a new computer to, it was a whole big thing. <laughs> anyway, that's how you, that is how you learn stuff because you have to. And right. So I'm now, I'm, um, Lisa saying she's an overnight success, which is 12, 13 years long. <laughs> hey, some people it takes a little longer. What can I say? But <laughs> I got time. So uh, anyway, that's how that all got started. And then kind of other companies added in. And now I have a couple other um, prospective deals going on. And so you'll be hearing about them. Yeah, that'll be fun. And it'll just kind of fill out the the line a little better. And, and, uh, and I, I want to thank my team for all that they've done to uh, help me get here. Cause I, you know, nobody can do it alone and especially mm. not me. And, um, and I want to thank all of my friends out there that watch and, and use my products because uh, again, it wouldn't be a thing unless there was somebody, I mean, I have the idea in my head, but it doesn't always mean that somebody else is going to want it. So by people buying it to me, that says, yeah, they want it, you know, so it's a pretty good (laughs) feeling. So I want to thank everybody. Yeah. You have like, almost like an occult following is how I I want to think about it. I mean, truly, I mean, you have the most amazing followers that they are so dedicated. They are so wonderful. And even because you do a live on your Facebook, which we're going to get you into YouTube a little bit more live on there. I'm going to to help you with that. (laughs) (laughs) Just as a heads up, that might be coming down the line. Just as a heads up. All right. Very, very easy. She's got the program to do it. She's just got, I do. I you do. do. You have yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but like you have, you've started bringing in some of your viewers, right. your guests to come yes. in because they create with the projects and you've had like special people coming in and yeah. you have such an amazing team. The The creativity in your team is just phenomenal. I look at some yeah. of the things that they create and I'm like, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> My I mind know. wouldn't even go there and all of a sudden Mine they're either. like, Shh. I know. <laughs> and so that's cool. why. In the fan club, we've got, I mean, people, Julie, you know, she's like building these little, like she made a little beach house vignette or Ulrika made this amazing leather journals. It's not like, you know, I I hate to say that there are levels of creativity. Everybody has it and it's just your way of doing it. And so mm-hmm. um, I think that is what one of the um, really great things about the product is that it is so versatile that anybody can adapt it to their style and do whatever they want with it. It's just a basic shape that you're just waiting to put your personality on. So um, that's what I like seeing because it's like meeting the person when you see what they make, you know, it's like, that's what they like, you know, that's one more thing about them. So anyway. That's so cool. So (laughs) you have, like, you've done a ton of products. You've been working with Sizzix for a long time without, Mm -hmm. you know, and you have launched a, well, how long ago? So the ones that I have behind me, I'm going to switch my camera so you guys can see what's behind me because she's got, this is chapter one and this is for the folio journal. How long has chapter one been out? <laughs> That's kind of a, kind of a sad Oh no, tale. is that a complicated story? <laughs> well, not complicated, just sad because, uh, well, the, the main die, the folio journal was on a, the, yeah, that was this on one. a boat coming from 
I Japan, I think, or it was it it was in a storm and it got it it, it had damage. Yeah. Well, some of it went down. That's the thing. They don't know where it is. It could be down there. It could be crushed. I don't know if they still know. So that happened right before that happened in December. It's supposed to release January first. All the other dyes kind of hinge on that die. So we're like, what do we do? You know, do we wait or what? Anyway, we got that at the end of February. Now there are two couple more dyes that go with folio journal. So kind of it it all worked out fine. And uh, you know, <laughs> some little what a story to be like just die cutting away. <laughs> I'm going to add a book to put on my seashells in. A little in. book. There my, there's the kelp page. And the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's my sense. sea otter friend. And yeah. oh, look, Sebastian. You know? <laughs> yeah, who knows what they're doing. Anyway, um, that's, that's what's happening. So now we have them and they're out there. And, um, you know, we have actually all of the accompanying pages and books or tucks and uh, and all these other little pieces that can go inside the book so now we can really get into it and start going to town with it so i'm really excited about that so from my understanding this is what you've kind of done and correct me if i'm wrong on this you come out with kind of like what i would call your base right, right? and so for this yep. one this is the folio journal which yes. got released in a roundabout way even yeah. though it got sunk to the bottom of the ocean it's here now. Still made it. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Some mermaids haven't been down the ocean. I love that. That was the best <laughs> line ever. <laughs> Some dolphins like, yes, me too. Yeah. I'll make one. Um, so <laughs> these are the big dies and yes. obviously they're longer. So if you right. have a big shot, which this is the big shot from, mm -hmm. uh, from Sizzix, you yeah. would need to have the longer plate because normally they come with a little tiny plate. So you just right. get the extended plate and yeah. then it works. So you cut yeah. it out. And the and other, th other thing, Erin, if I could just mention, if sure. they if they haven't, if they don't know who I am or anything, this is called a scoreboards die. So this is meant to work with thick material, like mat board, chipboard, up to a sixteenth of an inch. It will cut paper. It'll cut around the edge, but it's not going to score it because there's a blade lodged halfway down. And when oh. you put the thick stuff on, it get it reaches there and it cuts at that point but paper is just going to sit on top of it so it'll cut it just fine so you can you know there really are a lot of options for you, you can cut paper fabric uh leather cork felt burlap uh, burlap sure i'm burlap sure all the fabric top, types top, out there yeah, yeah and on top yeah. of mat board even I oh mean, you can cool even so you can layer it. it yeah you can cover it with canvas all, all kinds of stuff so you your brain would just go crazy <laughs> Thinking about I love it. that. I mean, I love the, just the, like the concept of it. Yeah. So then with that, which mm -hmm. it actually goes in this little package, I just split it so I didn't have to yeah. like rip open the packaging. You have your chapter one dies that right. go with that. Now, these are a different kind of die. These yes. are what they call their thinlets because right. as you can tell, they're thin. Yep. Right. Yeah. And so this one, I'm going to switch this around. So this one is how you do the pages that go in the book. Right. Yeah. So inside you've got this little square piece and i'm going to pop this out because we're going to talk about how to cut the square okay. yeah which is the page which right it's i mean it looks not so complicated but it no. fits just perfectly inside this book which mm -hmm. i love but you've made this super simple because it's got this little tab thing right here mm -hmm. right so do you want to take me through while i get things prepped about how to do yeah. that sure you're cool. just gonna get maybe a piece of paper like eight and a half by 11 or whatever you have 12 by 12. Um, I happen to have this sitting next to me, so that's what I right. grabbed. <laughs> well, there you go. Just fold that in half either way. And then you're just going to take your die, and you have those two little grooves, if you can see little registration marks. And basically, you just lay that right before your fold line so that when you cut that, when you run that through, you're going to get a double page. You know, you're going to get the fold, folded uh like what you just showed us <laughs> right so what and, i'm gonna do it's like this is what i did to make sure it didn't wiggle on me i use a little yeah. piece of washi does it yeah. do you do the same thing yeah because i'm afraid i'm gonna put it through my die and right. then it, and it bumps moves. and moves yeah. and i'm like Ur! and i'm like no i don't like that right so if just like use, if i was gonna yeah, yeah go there's there is a magnetic platform that you can use but ah. i i do that anyway just to make sure 
And so the key is, is these little bumpy things are lined right. up. So if I flipped it over, you would see that the cutting part, I have a washi now, so it's not going to move, is just yeah. off. Right. So when you cut it, going back to my little page here, yeah. it doesn't cut through. Right. And it's already scored because you folded yeah. it earlier. So yeah. it's That's the perfect it. size. Yeah. So you just stack them up and then you put them inside your book, which we'll do in a minute. And you'll see how you can bind it with either elastic or there's a new die out that's four pages that's like a a hidden spine or I, I'm not sure what you call it but it's a binding <laughs> so with this one we also have some other goodies that are in here you've yeah. got some flower pieces and leaves and this is a petal correct mm -hmm. right and some other little things then you've got a circle which could be like the inside of this of the flower but yeah. then you have these two little triangle right. angly things. What are those yeah. about? Those are little pockets that you can use on the inside or outside of your book. Um, I've got one. Oh, I don't have it on there. But, you know, I made a little book out of the uh, piece that you just cut. So you can Oh, even... just out of the page. Yeah, I just, just made a just book this. out of that. I cut it out of fixed ah. scrapbook paper. And then I put some graph paper inside and added a little charm to the edge and, you know. So there's lots of things that you can do. Um, here is a pocket that I, oh, here it is. I found it in one of the many bags that I have ready to show, but not. So there's a couple of questions I just want to answer. Yeah. Um, people are asking that, okay, so where are you located? So just going to go back, we, we refresh our memory. She's on the East Coast. She's outside of Washington, yeah. D.C., but somebody's saying, where can you find these dyes? Oh. So I believe, ooh, very pretty. Yeah. So you, she has an Etsy shop and the link yes. is down in the information section. So you could head over there and you can buy the dyes directly from her. Um, and it's, she ships out like super fast, believe me. I like do. everybody's commenting, like how quick, like we were just chatting right before we got on this. She's like, I just finished an Etsy order. I'm like, man, you're dedicated. So <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be, I want to have Easter with like a clear conscience. And it, I mean, I'm not complaining that we keep getting orders. I'm happy. Thank you. It's awesome. <laughs> totally dedicated. Yeah. I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to like squishy this in here. Now, along with that, you also have this beautiful, Mandala. Massive, amazing mandala. I'm going to call it a doily because it's almost the size of like, but it, it's a mandala. I, I, I love that. Say so, I'm just gonna... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the backside. I did cut one. It is so pretty. It is so, it's got like such intricate parts. And the yeah. best part about it is that it fits perfectly yeah. on one of the insides of the pages. So, you're not having to worry about is that going to fit? Is it not yeah. going to fit? Where does it go? Which I think is just fabulous. So, like, you've really thought ahead on that about all those little bits. I'm like carefully putting this back together. I'm such a stickler. I'm like, I want my package to look as pretty as when I got it. <laughs> I'm so weird. Oh, <laughs> so it's okay. I love it. You'd never make it here in my studio, Erin. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are like the, the the stuff that you've sent me. I'm like, I want it to look pristine hanging behind me. I want it to look gorgeous. I don't want to mess it, it up because it's it looks so pretty. Really nice. <laughs> and maybe something else might arrive. We don't know. But um, poor Aaron's husband has been running to the post office, their mailbox, to see if we got the rest of the stuff that we're going to be using. But oh she well. sent me some fun. I'm like, and I'm like, I want to hang it up. I have the hooks like ready to go. There's like everything. But it, and then like he went right before we started the show. I'm like, just go check to see if it oh. came in the mail right before poor he comes God. in. He goes, the guy pulled in just behind me, and he's starting to sort the mail. I'm like, Arr! that's all right. <laughs> I have oh, it well. here if you don't have it. So there we go. Well, I'll still use it. I'll still play with it. I'll still help promote oh, yeah. it. It's all good. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So Eileen is, we are actually going to create, and I've got all my pieces out. Um, and Eileen's going to switch her camera around so we can yeah. create together. Uh, so while she's doing that, she's going to pop out a screen for just a few seconds. And then I am going to, bye bye. <laughs> so I'm going to pop her out real fast. And I'm going to show you some of the amazing journals some of her team has done. So if you're on here, amazing, amazing job just to show you that, because we're going to go a completely different direction. Mine's all about Easter. And I have these really, really cutie Easter papers I'm going to be using on mine, which I just dumped crap on my floor. So whoop you do. Um, but just to show you some fun things. So 
I think I have most of the people's names on here. So here we go. This one is Elizabeth Robinson. Look how pretty. So this is just the front cover, but you can see that mandala dye in the background, some of the flowers that she's cut out with the chapter one dyes. It is super, super pretty. So you can really see all the gorgeousness. That's just the front. So awesome job. Here we have some inside pages from Karen Beers. She's written that. I've met, met her quite a few different times and she's amazing and she's so talented. So these are just some of the inside pages that you could see that you could put into the journal. Um, here we have kind of an open journal or the folio, I should say, uh, that you can see from this. And you can see that there is, you can turn it into pocket pieces. So not only do you cut the main part of the book, but you also cut other parts that can add to the book, which we're gonna chat about that in a minute while we're putting things together. Here's another example from Jenny Atkinson and just how beautiful this looks. And she's got this little tab on there that's like a closure. And then here's another beautiful one. This one, I can't, uh, layers of ink. So really, really pretty. I don't know the name of whose layers of ink. I'm so sorry. If it's you, shout yourself out. Or if you know who this is, shout yourself out. This is another really, really pretty one. You can see the spine here, it's nice and thick. It's gorgeous. She's added different flowers to that. I think Eileen is back. Well, I'm not yeah. sure. I can see you, you look good. Can It does? <laughs> this looks okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good. upside down, oh, but that's cool. Uh, can I turn this? So, yeah. Wait a minute, sorry. Here, let me pop you back out, it's all good. We'll get you situated. So here is another one you can see. I mean, so that's the beauty of this particular die in this journal is that you can go in so many different directions. It's however you wish to kind of assemble it or put it together. So let's see if she's, well, she's still messing around with her camera. So I'll leave it be for a second. And then here we have another one. Look at this. She's got like tabs on the inside. This is Tanya Trantham. So pretty. This one's a very mixed media vibe to it. And it's, she's got all kinds of cool stuff. Let's see. Are you there? Are you good now? I think so. Yay. Give it a try. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Let's 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 see where we're good. Yay! Okay. We um, are good. All right. I gotta move. This and we way. have one more I wanted to show. Look at this beautiful one. Uh, I love it. She's done like the doily on the front. See how it fits perfectly on that journal. And then she's added more flowers. And there is another special thing. And I had it around here somewhere, but I'm sure Eileen can show you. It's with the die, you also get a little piece. So I'm gonna try and show this to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. Up at the top here, you get a couple of little extra pieces. You get this long piece right here. And then you also get this, looks like a, a, a circle-y oval looking hooky thing. I don't know how to describe it. So this is the one piece that you're gonna get. And that's how you make the little pockets that are like extended. and. I'm sure she's got some samples. And I had the other one around here and I don't know where it went. It, it went poof on me. That's all right. It's so small. I, I, but you use it for like a charm holder. Oh so, yeah, that little piece, yeah. That little piece. Uh, this thing right here. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'll cut one in a minute. So um, we're gonna get into our crafty portion of the show. I am gonna create the book and so I'm gonna flip my camera around as well and you can see all the little pieces that I'm working with. And she's still playing I, along. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh, you're fine, it. you're fine. I'm just trying you're to get that good. stand of the mic out of the way. But I ah, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, it's all good. So, so Eileen okay. taught me that when you're making your book, you cut two of these. So I did, I cut two. <laughs> and this is the mat board. Now she does it very differently. And she was like, well, you should do it this way. I'm like, do I have to? And it's not that I was trying to be mean or anything. I was just no. like, but I like doing it this one particular you way. Can. And she's like, yeah, totally. I'm like, awesome. You show the way you like it and I'll show the way I like it. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so go for it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I decided for Easter, and I know this might reflect a little, but to me, this is like ultimate Easter egg, and it's such a pretty color. Um, so it's glitter paper. So I'm going to cover my mat board with Easy Cut Adhesive. This is um, adhesive I have with ThermoWeb, which is in their mailbox probably. <laughs> but what I like to do is I cover <laughs> the mat board first, and then I uh, add the paper so that when it cuts it's all in one shot and all of those lines are going to line up perfectly and i don't have to mess with it so here's my die 
here's my cutting pads. I'll put them aside for a minute. And then I'm just going to be adding, I have adhesive on one. I should have done that sooner, but where, and this is where I was like, do I have to put the adhesive? Cause I didn't have it yet. That was my problem. So if I don't have the right. adhesive or what if I don't have full stick adhesive and I said, can I just cut it smaller and yeah. see the white mat? And she's like, well, yes. absolutely. There's no reason that you can't yeah. do that. So do I'm going to go ahead like. and I've cut out a bunch of pieces. So while she's assembling over there and you're seeing her putting her sticky on, I'm going to start. I love these double sided papers are so pretty. I'm going to make yes. sure I have all my spot things in the right spot. I know and but start putting my pieces together. The thing about the double sided papers, doesn't it kill you that you have to cover one? I I um, hate that. <laughs> so what I'm doing is that I'm actually originally I this is kind of a happy accident for me. Um I was originally thinking I was going to do all the bunnies on the big page. Yeah. These are really cute. This is close to my heart papers and I have put the links to the other stuff I'm using today. They're super super cute. And on the other side are these eggs. And initially I was going to do it like this where I had the eggs as the smaller pieces right. and then the bunnies were the bigger. And then I happened to stick it upside down. I'm like, "You know what? I actually kind of like it better that oh, yeah. So I, it gives me the ability to kind of play around with it. Yeah, I guess that's, the that's best way true. That that is, you can see how it looks all laid out together. Yeah, yeah. and I'm a, I have to see it laid out in front of me before yeah. well, I stick it down. <laughs> that is nice. It's nice to know. <laughs> okay, I'm weird like that. No, I think so, I think a lot of people are like that, and you know, yours usually turns out good, probably. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Mine does not always do that if I don't plan it, but then sometimes you get stuff that you never would have thought, and it's good. So you know. So all you're doing is you're taking off the backing taking, off the sticky. Yes. And it's double-sided sticky, I keep right? Because I like to use this for my inking and then I throw it away. So I keep it. So smart. So smart, yeah. Smart, smart. And then you're just gonna lay down your paper on the mat board and lay it flat. And if it's a little <laughs> off, that's okay because you you still have a little buffer zone here. So don't worry about it. Because you're still going to die cut it next. Oh, guess what? Right. Guess what? Guess what? What? Is it here? Yay! Okay. <laughs> my son just opened the door and the smile on the face. He's like, <laughs> do you want to come say hi, my delivery boy? He's like, no. It Mom. came. It came. We were just chatting about this. Yes, we were. <laughs> Lisa's saying, check out Jenny Atkinson's book on her YouTube channel. It is gorgeous. It is amazing. Yeah, I think, um, did you show that one yet, Erin? I can't, I was trying to set up my camera. That's the really chunky uh, one. The super, we, the extra spine one? Yeah. No, yeah. I was going to save that to the end. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, we, Lisa, I know, everybody is, yeah. Yeah, and okay. Anna Karen made that other one that was layers of ink. That's. I love how, like, we're so live, it just came in the mail. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty good. Now, one thing that you do have to know is if you're going to cover this with paper, you need to put the pretty side facing the die. Okay, so you're going to take, whoops. So why would you here. want to do that versus the other way? Well, because otherwise you, the book won't fold the right way. Right. These score lines, you want them to be on the outside because that's, you'll see in a minute when, when I okay. do this. All right, so I'm gonna line this up. Now, I'm not gonna cut out my little tab thing. We're not gonna do that today. That's a pocket that goes inside. And actually the length of this book comes out to 20 inches. So you could do a complete folio fold around and I'll show you in a minute, but we're just gonna cut this right now. And you can make little pockets out of it. I have to scoot this down or it's gonna run into my stand. See, I had to hang it up. <laughs> oh, she had to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm weird girl. like that. <laughs> okay, so here's one cover. All right, let's cut the other one. So Again, while she's doing that cutting, yeah. I have found, and maybe you can kind of correct me on this, that the best way to put the two journals together once you have the two pieces cut out is right. using red line tape. Yes. Correct? Yep. Awesome. That's what so I, I went ahead and stuck one on there. Yeah, that's good. And then when you add, when you put them together and you add elastic, then mm -hmm. that's like a second, uh, you know, second 
Um, oh, sorry. Put these on first. <laughs> this thing. No, 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 it's uh, all good. It, kind of like it a whole. Kind of gives double like duty. You know, it's, it. it's stronger. Your spine is stronger. Sorry, I had a lapse there. Okay, so we have it's two okay. two covers now. I okay. forgot to put my little strips here in the spine. See, I like seeing the white because this had such like yeah, a soft look to it. It's really cute. I'm, I'm weird like that. I no, saw I like, I'm like, okay, if I don't use these Easter papers, it's going to be a whole other year before I right. use them. And it's That's perfect true. timing. They were sitting on my desk, actually in the corner of my desk. I'm like, I'm going to use them because they're oh, so yeah, adorable. That's cute. They are. No idea what that's I'm going to use the book for. But well, that does bring me, Easter before I forget, photos. yes. Maybe it's like the years of Easter. I don't know. Because I have all these cute Easter photos and I don't know what to do with them. Yeah. But there is a, I want to tell everybody, there is a giveaway that's going mm -hmm. on right now. So we have, or Eileen has, an awesome giveaway to enter into the giveaway. And heads up, we have a person who is going to win live here today. So leave a comment on the question we're going to ask. But there's also going to be a winner that she's going to announce on her live that she goes streaming on her Facebook channel this Thursday. What time do you go live on Thursday? That's 4 o'clock Eastern. On Eastern, Thursday. 4 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, at Eileen Hall Designs. Yeah. I um, think the link which is we're there. streaming on the that Facebook as yes, well right, right now. Yes, so. that's correct. Awesome. For some people, you're already there. And for yeah. some of you, you're watching on my Facebook or my YouTube channel, but head to Eileen Hall. But it's uh, if you go to your main website, which is what yeah. I've linked down below, they can get to your Facebook page from there, correct? Right. Awesome. So yes. the question before I forget. So she's going one direction, super glittery, super fun, yeah. but you can also go like I'm doing, but you saw seen so many amazing pictures. So we're curious. I was like, well, what do I do with the book now that I made it all pretty? And she's like, turn, you know, you can turn it into whatever you want. So our question yeah. to you is, what would you use this book or folio journal for? I totally screwed that up. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> what would you use this book or folio journal? Because that's the name of the die is a folio journal. How would you use it? Like, would you use it for recipe cards, for junk journals, for planners? Like, how would you use a book like this? Once you've got it all decorated up, what do you do with it? So she's curious, and so Good am I. Good question. I'm thinking I want to use this possibly for, like, the history of some Easter's in the past. And, oh, like, I always cool. have, like, all my kids together in a shot with Easter with, like, their baskets and stuff. But then I never do anything with them. And it's, like, well, one shot per year. Yeah, Maybe they could, need to go together. Well, that'd be a cute little book. Yeah, you know? exactly. Okay, just one thing about what I'm doing here, Erin. Um, yes. I added my tape. Now, with glitter paper, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, you know, sometimes there are surfaces that don't stick as well. So if mm. that doesn't work, you'll know. It'll start peeling off. And then I would just go ahead and add some glue to it, some wet glue. Or you could use hot okay. glue. Okay. So you would just peel this off. The other thing that I did was basically... I die cut them and then I fold it on the spine. Now, if you wanted to make a smaller book, you could just chop these off, you know, oh. or if you wanted to make a bigger one, you could adhere them together right there. So you can have like a two and a half inch spine here. If you have, oh, you don't have of, to go all the way. Stuff. You can go right to here. <gasps> yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. You could chop that off now. If you just want to do a little Easter book and you don't want to, you know, have to fill a huge book because sometimes right. you just don't have it you know you have nothing to but well, I, I already put my do. tape on there so. oh okay, okay. Well. now I do have a question can you score can you fold it too much like you, like is there two way would it break uh, does that make I, sense no I fold it over like all the way and what that does oh, okay. is it breaks the fibers, but you still have half of your mat board there. To, you know, it'll, it's not going to come apart. Okay. So this is no. really sturdy stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I'm afraid if I go too far, I'm going to be like, oh, crap. No, it's <laughs> but no, I should be good. of paper. No, you're good. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> see? Look at that. It's so, so cute. cute. Now, see, you it's could, adorable. if you wanted to have a longer book, and I don't know, maybe you had, to, you wanted to put cards in here or something. I made this other little book. I can find it. Uh, I don't know. And is there a right way or a wrong? Like I had this as being like, I envisioned this yeah, as being my yep, inside. That's, that's but, how I envisioned. But if you have but, another vision, that's fine too. No, but like, does it matter? Like, 
could it go this way? Like there's no, it just feels like it's a little stiffer because I probably didn't turn um, it the other direction, there's right? There's really only one way that you should fold it and your math board's going to make you, you'll feel it, you know, if you Yeah, go the like wrong this way. feels so much easier. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because you're folding okay. with the score lines. That's how you want to do it. it. And I am going to make mine into a folio. Now, if you wanted, you know, if you don't, like you said, if you don't want a big, huge book, you could just chop it off right there and you'd have like, a little book like this that's just like you know a regular you know square journal so right, right but i'm gonna do that because i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it so i'm not gonna limit myself by cutting it until so I like these two pieces i could cut right yeah, here could just and be done with off right there or i could have that and get rid of that yes right right there's or limitless possibilities yeah keep that but then there's this little piece here that was cut right and now you just those fit inside wait let me find mine through the big pile of stuff here so it goes like that, that. i took out i think i want to put mine in i didn't okay. cover it so it's you gonna do leave it, it clean I, I can't find mine. i'm gonna do it because it do looks it. so cute go for it <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> the other thing is you don't have to be limited to cover it with paper um i did one the other day and i'm loving it um, I did I it with, it's called uh, surfaces. And this is like a, I don't know what it is, but it's like a paper that doesn't degrade. It's like a leather paper, they kind of call it. And this was one of the projects we did on our Facebook Live the other day. And mm. you can, if you make this out of paper and you don't fold on that line, um, you can make it fit an A2 card and you can make a nice little carrier i'm not totally done with that yet i'm still playing but uh i decided you know. i have to at least cover that part so i didn't okay. pre this is all not pre-planned guys yeah i'm like cutting <laughs> well, on the fly never here tell that on my side <laughs> <laughs> no it's you know the way i look at it it's just it's working in it's a work in progress like everything we do in life is you know you're just figuring things out along the way and it's nice to have friends to experiment with and say, oh, that worked for me. That didn't, you know, um, let's try this or, you know, and just doing it together is fun. Look at this cute little Easter book. See, I'm going to have pictures tomorrow because I'll have those little kids here. <laughs> those little boys. I love the shininess of yours. It's so cute. Somebody yeah. made a comment. Yes, if I'm going to put this in here, you're not going to see my papers, but you kind of are because it's still somewhat yeah. open in a way. Right, right. So then it's not plain on the inside, but you're, but yeah. they're here. So I'm kind of glad I made the choice not to do like all bunnies on this side and all eggs here because now I can oh, yeah. see the beautiful now paper. You have a little of each. Yeah. A little bit of both. But you're yeah. absolutely right because. I've totally gone in a completely different direction because yeah. I want to show you guys how to put this on. So I'm just These putting my little happen. piece of paper. These things do happen. And, yes. but it's showing the amazing versatility of your book yeah. or of your folio. Okay. I thought that. And people are making comments on photo album. Um, oh yeah. I've seen, okay, where is it? I'm trying to find everybody. So leave a comment, uh, ancestry with charts and photos. That's oh, cool. Yeah. I love that. That would be great. Um, project planner. Keep yes. photos, my mixed media projects, the materials I use each week. Ooh, a writing journal. Always yep. include pencils or pens or watercolors. This is a great yeah. little pocket to store stuff that I'm about yes, to put together. It would. That's yeah, just a few can, that I'm just kind of mentioning. You can Ooh, close wedding memory book. You can close in, you know, you can cut extra little pieces to put in the top and bottom if you really want them secure and then you close it. Wait, I did mm. one. I like this. Uh, my red line tape is too thick, so I have to cut mine in half. <laughs> See, I closed them in. Oh, there goes my cutting pad. Um, I made a little like, oh, I have it upside down. But see, it didn't come out. And I've got a bunch of little cards in here. And you can put your stamps or some other little whatever in here. And pens, you know, I just wrap them around the spine here. And then you can close it up and take it on the road with you or... Whatever you want to do. But you got you do a lot of crafting while you're actually on the road, don't you? I do. Yeah. Sometimes for months at a time. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, what I wanted to do, if if it's okay, Erin, I wanted to sure, show go. this waterfall, how that works. Yes. And that's one of the new dies. That's a chapter two. 
Um, and I have a picture that you sent me. I'm going to put up. So that's yeah, the die. And then so let me know die. when you're ready to put the picture up. Okay. And let me show you what it looks like. It comes with a lot of stuff. I think this one, in fact, it just sold out. I think I might have one left. But this is what it comes with. And I keep mine on a magnetic uh, vent cover and cover it with a uh, smart mat board, of course. Because <laughs> I have about two million things of it. Um, so this is the waterfall piece. <clears throat> and if people have not done a lot of die cutting before or uh, junk journaling or whatever you want to call it, um, you might be wondering how that works. So I thought it might be a fun thing to uh, show here, if that's all right. By all so means. I did go ahead and cut some ahead of time. And so these are the pieces that come with it. And you can just use like a little uh, tape runner for this. But this is the little scallop piece. And then there's tags. I think everybody pretty much knows what how tags work, but these maybe <laughs> not so much. So I cut a bunch out of craft. And what I like to do is I cut them out of craft or kind of a solid base. And then I cut my pretty pieces, the, the you know, pattern paper out of the little square that goes with it. Okay. Is anybody having questions here? Oh, everybody's saying what they're doing. I'd love hearing that. Um, Somebody is no. saying, um, what is the what is it called and what is the order number? Are you talking about the waterfall peg? Yeah, that's, that's I'm the curious. Waterfall. And I totally didn't put enough peg. adhesive on here. Don't make this mistake. I didn't put my adhesive all the way to the down and I put the paper on there. So now oh. it's pulling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throw Easy fix. Easy glue. fix. You can just put glue in there. That's no big deal. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I've done every mistake you can do. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Unless I really, really mess it up. Okay, now I like to use a base piece of paper for my waterfall just to kind of give it stability. And then if I want to move it, I can. So what I'm going to do is I know that my book is about five inches. So I'm going to put a score line up there. Actually, I'm going to do it a little smaller in case I want to you know, reposition it a little bit. So I'm going to fold it there and then I can like tuck this in or attach it, um, you know, through like a little slip, a uh, little strip of paper so I can just loop it over and I can move it if I want. Um, Cause I can never seem to make up my mind on what to do with stuff. So I just take these little pieces and these are all cut out of the waterfall and then you're going to fold them in fold them over on the score line like that and i'm not going to do all of them but just to sh give you a basic idea the other good thing about this die is that you can adjust this to fit in other books that are bigger or smaller you know you don't have to be limited by this five by five all right here is six of them and that's pretty much what fits so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a line of tape down the outside here. And I'm going to set that right even with the top of my paper. And I cut it to pretty much the same size. And that way I can control, you know, where it's going to, that I'll have a nice straight line. You'll like that, Erin. <laughs> It'll all line up and you'll she like it. She knows me so okay. well. <laughs> so now I'm going to cut another, or I'm going to run another line of tape down here. And then I'm just going to butt that up to this piece that I have already put down. And, you know, you've also got the edge of this paper to keep it straight where you're going. Okay. So now you have two little waterfall things. So this is how fast it goes. I mean, it's That's really easy because all of the cutting and everything is just all the work is done. You just have to position it and slap it down. And then you've got these other fun little pieces that go with it and just make it pretty, I think. So you I had all these papers pre-cut on my book and I cannot find them. So I'm pre I'm recutting <laughs> them. I swear. So she's going to plan B. Plan B, free cutting. Story I have all the papers. Like, I don't know where they went. Well, they're gone. I don't know about your desk, but mine like eats stuff that I want. <laughs> Very annoying. Tis true. Tis true. 
All right, so I'm on my last one. I don't think I got that. So how's everybody doing out there? Brag books, junk journal. Let's Leslie's got some plans. All right. There's and lots of really cool things that people are mentioning. Here. I know. It's really cool. Right. Now you were also mentioning because there's a. I know you're still talking about the waterfall. I'm gonna really pre right. I want to show you guys a picture because she sent me a picture of the waterfall. It was really really pretty. So here uh, you can see the waterfall. It's tied in the blue ribbon right there. Yeah. It is so gorgeous. It's awesome. Thank you. That was fun to do. <laughs> and then another fun one that you have is the new little Scotty camper. Oh He's so yes. Adorable. I know. Isn't he cute? And then are we going to play with the last one or you just want to mention it? Uh, which one? The, the binding? The binding one. Um, how are we doing on time? We can go as long as you want. I don't care. Wow. <laughs> Nobody Your ever time says is... that to me. <laughs> <laughs> you might regret that one, Erin. Nah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I have my Diet that. Coke here. I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing that I would mention is we are doing our launch on Facebook Live on Wednesday, April 7th at uh, noon on my mm -hmm. channel. And everybody's welcome to come there. So if you have questions or, you know, you can ask about that. You're going to see all the new stuff from the team that will be unveiled using the Ooh. chapter two. So um, Ooh, I need this one more it's going to be a good one. So come on over. All right. I am excited. I, what I usually do is I lay these out first so I can see how they're going to fall, you know, and I think I'm one short, but oh yeah, maybe that. now people don't have to I, worry about how they're cutting it, which is really nice. It's right, just, it's yeah. all done for you. Yeah. And they just look so nice. And they do. It's really cute. The way your brain works is just amazing to me. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know what it is? I just know what I would like. And then if other people like it, I'm very happily surprised. <laughs> I've had some, some that haven't done as well. You know, you just never know until you try it. Yeah. Well, I think also sometimes it's like what you're thinking that you might like, and it might not hit that moment, but yeah. maybe give it another year right. and it would be the perfect fit, you know? Right. It's well, and that's timing the thing with trends and this one has a fold in it, but I'm still going to I'm use it because I, I care. must complete the, <laughs> the track here. Okay. So this is that one. Okay. I think I need some new tape in my tape runner. It's empty. <laughs> here you oh, can put a little photo. You can put stuff up here. You know, you have all this space to write things. You can make a little pocket there. It would have to be short, but you could. Um, you know, quotes or, I don't know, you guys probably have ideas for what you would do with this. And then the last thing that you want to do is add your little um, piece. And you could do that down here. You could do that up here, wherever you want to put them. I'm not going to do that now because that just takes a while. But I want to show you the waterfall if you guys want to see. Yes. Uh, I'm right, dying. Wait. You got us on pins and needles over here. Oh, well. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> no rush. No rush. All right. Let me get some. <laughs> I am not trying to rush her in any way. I'm just okay. light, friendly banter. <laughs> yeah. You're scaring me. No, 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 no. Uh, there was a comment earlier about her mic. She's running this from her phone, so there's no way to move the mic. But on my end, I can hear you just fine. You can. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, I might have my mic on a little lower, which is why the volume's off. So I'm going to oh. tweak my mic just a tiny bit so we're closer to the same volume. And then, therefore, I'm not too soft and you're not too loud. Okay. Hopefully, that might make the difference. And then you can tweak your volume on your end. So... See if that works. I just tweaked my volume just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. So if you're just now joining us, we're here with Eileen Hull. We are live. I'm on my YouTube channel, Erin Reed Makes, also on my Facebook. And we're also on Eileen's Facebook at the same time. It's we have a giveaway. <laughs> we have a giveaway going on right now. And the question is, is how would you use? And she is making, we are using her folio journal. Look at this amazing journal. It's so cute. So this is with her folio journal die which we have right here and it's this 
big, amazing Biggs dies from Sizzix. And then I've been playing with her chapter one, but she is launching and showing her chapter two, which just got released. Like it just came in. Well, it, and yeah. so she's <laughs> making the waterfall. All of the products that you see us playing with today, she's got her adhesive, which I just got in the mail. Like it just came in. My yeah. son just came, like handed it to me. <laughs> so she's got her easy cut adhesive with Thermo Web. And she also has, I noticed you have Ren Lide tape with Thermo yes, Web, which is the red line tape, which is awesome. I saw you sneak the package in there. So I got to throw that out there. Oh, oh okay. I didn't know I did. <laughs> it's, you did. You're so Good. smooth. You don't even realize it. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the contest on well you just need to leave a comment so wherever you're watching us from we can stream and see all the comments happening at the same time so i we're going to be picking a winner from all three places just leave a comment the question is how would you use this book or folio journal there is also going to be a secondary winner picked from any of the three locations we are streaming from and she's going to be announcing it on her youtube live sorry her Facebook Live on <laughs> Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Yes, very <laughs> That's good. That's a to try and get out there. <laughs> I don't know how you keep that straight. Um, can I just say something here and hope that people can see this? Um, this this is the die. This is the book binding, and the way it oh. works is this is enough to bind this book that we just made. If we okay. wanted to do that down the middle there. Okay, so the way it works is it's got a series of score lines and basically you're going to have a mountain full here. There are two big tabs and a little one. So the little one is the space in between. So I'm just going to fold this up right now and you can watch and we'll be doing this a lot of times, I'm sure, uh, in the next couple months. But um, it's not hard once you get the idea of how it works. So I'm just going to be folding that because I, I find that helps me to find the creases uh, when I go to put my tape on. So then I know where to apply that. And that's going to help us. That's just kind of an alternative to binding the way I think you're planning on binding yours, Erin, which is with the elastic, right? I don't know where Erin went. Maybe she's getting her elastic. <laughs> anyway. We are just got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm so happy that you guys came. Travel journal, that's a great idea. Junk it up with all your leftover scraps. Tanya, can't wait to see that. Uh, what else? He's making a birthday gift for my dad. Oh, that's nice. Junk journal for a gift. Yes, use it. Grad book for grandparents. That's a good idea. I would love that. I mean, not that I have any yet, but... Graduating from kindergarten. <laughs> uh, what else? Family history. Yes, that's a good idea, Lee. Brag books. Actually, you can score on any line. It's not going to matter. It's just to show where you're putting this. Um, I don't know where Erin went. But I, it's her show, so I'm sure she'll turn up. Okay, so... I'm almost there, guys. Sorry. Okay. But I, there she is. We just had a, yeah. I, were you still live on your end the whole time? Uh, yes. Oh, cool. I've been blabbing away. <laughs> <laughs> on my end, it totally dropped. I am so sorry. Oh. So if oh, you wow. were watching on, um, it should, I don't know if it, it dropped feed on YouTube or wherever we were, but we are back. Oh, I'm right. back. I'm sorry about that. Oh, All well. of a sudden, I lost everything. I thought we lost the feed totally. So, no. so sorry if you dropped out. No. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're fine. They, they're just I'm back. listening to me blabbing away. That's <laughs> they're used to it. I was. I've never had that happen. I had it drop where it like it dropped for like five seconds, ten seconds. But I've oh. never had my whole thing just completely crash out. Well, so I'm glad that's... it didn't go completely away. Yay. No. <laughs> no, you're good. I mean, awesome. I I know that I didn't hear you, but. Um, it just kept going. So I kept going. I looked up there and there were my hands. And so I, Hey, just kept there you going. go. <laughs> just plug All right. away. All right. Well, let's just keep going. I'm deciding I'm going to amend my little book. I keep tweaking and playing and you're having fun. So I'm going to have fun and we're just going to be crafty together. So All right. well, there we I'm, go. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm just going to finish uh, this 
adding this tape here and then you'll see how this comes together and how we use it Ooh, so, I'm excited yeah it it just takes a little while but it's easy and I I just do one line of tape for each fold here and you want to try which I didn't do with the others but try and keep it up towards the top so that the thing stays crisp the uh, crease will stay sorry you'll see in a minute i know it looks crazy and you're like how do you know which one to put it on Hang is it on. like every other one or something well there's a big fold which all right if we look at it like this just one this is where you're going to attach your page and then there's a little space here. So if you have a dimensional element, like a flower or something, that's going to, you know, you'll have plenty of room to turn your page and not have to worry about it. So I'm going to start peeling this off and you'll see in a minute. This looks like a giant accordion right now. Yeah, kind of, but it's folded up a little differently than an accordion fold. What you're doing is you're just taking the two big lines and you're sticking them together. That's all you really have to remember is just okay. take the two biggest folds and stick them together. And it won't look like much till we get done. So don't, don't worry. Get Hills and valleys. Up. Somebody is saying, yes, yes. Well, mountains are, yeah. Hills. Okay. Hills. Mountains are hills. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the ones that stick up. <laughs> So for I'm I'm about to start messing around with putting in my string and yeah. my cording to make my book while she's playing with her hills and mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and so she it just came in. I'm so excited. Yeah. So I was looking everywhere. I swear I thought I had some elastic. Now I have elastic. But Yay. I was telling her I had like jewelry stuff. Like yeah. this is like you know, and I was like, would that work? Would that function? She's like, yeah, that would be just fine. So I was going to do that, but now she sent me the nicer stuff that's well, a little bit more sturdy. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, with elastic, you can do, it depends on what you're putting in it. If you have a lot of heavy duty stuff that's going to be, you know, putting stress on it, then you would use a heavier adhesive. If you're just going to put a card in or a couple sheets of paper, then mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about it. And I would just use the, uh, you know, um, the thin stuff, whatever you have, but you can right. get it everywhere. You can use the stuff that you get at Joann's for, for, um, you know, sewing and it's just elastic. So I use the general one that I use is like a 1.5 millimeter. And I think that's what I sent you, Aaron. That's Probably. a good way for everything. But I'm seeing the more I order is that I think not all of it is created equal. <laughs> so mm. might say 1.5 and then, you know, I just go by the stretchiness and the thickness of the cord. But it would depend on what you have and how anxious you are. to, You know, if you just look around and that's what you have, then use it. OK, it sounds like this needs to be another product that you need to have in your line is well, the cording. You know, I, I was thinking <laughs> about that. <laughs> If I keep then we know books. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we're done with our accordion here or whatever you want to call it. This is our binding. And you can see that this will fit inside your, um, your book here. Okay. And if you wanted to make a thicker one, you would just cut, make two of these and add them on and build them out. So now what we're going to do to stick them inside the book is we're going to add more tape. Now, I don't know if I'm going to add this one to that book because I just grabbed some yellow paper and I'm not sure if that's going to go with my glittery, uh, you know, blue and yellow. Blue. I think it would function. Well, it's fine. Eastery. Yeah. Well, we can do yeah. it. I mean, you're so really gotta... not going to see it anyway because you're going to cover it with paper or something. Right, probably. right. So we got a lot more people on. I'm just going to do a few shout outs where she's playing around Good. here. We got Marion and Mitziana and Donna oh. and Laura and hey Lady guys. Fair. Good. Good and, to see you. Oh, oh, there's a good question. What white paper do you recommend for the book binding? So okay. that, she's got. That is a good question. <laughs> um, 
the book binding, I used a, you don't want something too heavy because it's hard to score it. It's hard to fold it and it's bulky. So you want something like a 65 pound cover. That's what I would use. Okay. Nothing too much, you know. So not this, as thick as what you would have for like a card. No, I wouldn't use a card stock, like not in, not a heavy card stock. I would use a medium weight card stock. And what I would do is just kind of play with it. And when you get something, I would get a neutral, like a craft or off white or white and just keep it on hand and just cut a bunch of them and have them. You could cut them to, you know, match your book too. I'm trying to think of what I did here. I think here I just did it. No, I did one out of this, but it was a pain. And you can see that it's bulky here and it's cracking mm. because this is a very thick paper. It matches, but it, the pages are not as supple as I would like them to be and able to fold, whereas this one would. So you have to figure out it's, uh, you know, the function or pretty. <laughs> so again, something that you can play with. And you can use this, like we've got a die called the tiny book. You could cut this down and use it in the tiny book. Ah. You could take it and we've got the traveler's journal. You could cut it down and do two of them and, you know, use that in there too. So it's very uh, versatile. You can use it in any book and the, the uh, passport book, the jerk, the notebook, uh, a lot of the other dies, it, it should work in there too. So very fun. Yeah. I'm enjoying my little book. Oh, I just yours made. It's is so cute. cute. It's adorable. <laughs> It's all just pastel -y. I just put one in, but, and we were chatting about this earlier. I said, do I just do three separate things? And she goes, yes, you can do that. So you have three separate, or you could do it. There's a fancy way. And I was like, I'm not going to learn how to do that right now where you weave <laughs> yeah. in and out it's and you only hard. tie it it's once. Hard. Yeah, but it is. <laughs> it was hard. too much for me to comprehend live, right? You know, like no. right before we went live, it was like not happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So just we didn't use the tags, but like I said, you guys know how to use tags. But um, this is kind of how you can use your your folio, your page. You know, you would attach one over here, and then uh, you would have that, and then you can do a fold out. You know, these are some of the uh, the flowers that came with that first oh, adventure awaits. You can add lace. That's the little piece that comes in there. Um, you know, you can fold it in like that, or you can make pockets out of it by adding them. There's our little, you know, rounded pocket. Yes. That was on tags. this one. Yes. Right. Yeah, so they all work was... together. This is the doily that I messed up. So I just cut a little bit of that out and put that on a tag, which I didn't attach all the way. Um, and this one, for some reason, I embossed it but that's kind of pretty and then you can put your, your random scraps and little fun that's a jewelry uh, clip on jewel earring and uh, i just thought it was pretty and you know you can add all your little things everybody's junk journaling these days and mm -hmm. uh, you can take your page and you can do a slash pocket out of it there are just so many things you can't even go through them all but you can make a little container out of your pocket little secret and just add pockets and everywhere. So that's how it works. Isn't it fun? I love to add all different stuff from my stash. Um, I think Erin has frozen. Erin, are you, are you there? I see I'm going, but she's not. Well, <laughs> I'm never at a loss for words. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Isn't it fun? Can you just not wait to make some of these? Look at this, like a little pocket on a pocket and using uh, all your different things like book pages and, you know, this, that die got a lot of use, that little one. So I'm sure Erin is trying to get back in here. So anyway, here's a look at the waterfall. And this one seemed kind of uh, not frilly. So I didn't add the little pieces to it. But you can see how I slipped it in. I forgot I did it on here. You can, um, oh, I, I did leave it stationary, but I just took a piece of paper and just a little strip and glued it across and then tucked that in. So that holds it in here and sticks it down. So, and then you can tie it. You can take a piece of paper to make a little flap, a magnet closure, 
you know, you can put photos on the front or back, all kinds of stuff, whatever you want. All of your collections of stuff, you know? So get it off your desk and just start putting it in books. And it, it's just like therapy. It's so much fun. I'm really uh, getting into this. In fact, I had to clear off my desk to try and <laughs> get, get I'm back. <laughs> She's back. What are you doing to me, Erin? <laughs> Sorry. I think I, well, either it's our weather or okay. it is like something's going on. I don't know. But yeah, we're, we were still streaming. Like I even checked on my YouTube channel and it was still going because oh, okay. I could get it on my phone. <laughs> but like our whole internet in the house dropped twice. Jeez, so, that's bad. I know. Oh, well. I don't no. know if it's the weather or they're doing something that's messing with it, but I don't know. Yeah, now, right. maybe you've already mentioned this, but I'm just going to throw this out there to make sure that we didn't forget this. Did you say something about a bundle available for the chapter two dies? Yes. Well, there was, but unfortunately it sold out. So I- You uh, sold out? Oh my goodness. That's I'm amazing. Sorry. I, it is. It's no, great, but I don't, great. I, I can't send them anymore. I have another order in. Um, he processed it yesterday. Hopefully it's going, hopefully it went out yesterday. I think it did because I got the little bill thing and, um, I hopefully will get it by like Tuesday or Wednesday. And then it's in my Etsy store. So I can, um, post that in the group and on my page once the, the, uh, dies come back in. So sorry about that, but I mean, it's a good thing. So supply and demand, man. That's right. Awesome. I absolutely yeah. love that. So as soon as they get in the store, make sure you get it because it's going to go fast. <laughs> well, that's true. Or tell your stores to order them. You know, they can yeah, do that. Yeah. If you've got a local store, definitely, yeah. definitely. I just so if, to... Yeah. So that gets, that's the other thing. If they can't find it through you on your Etsy store, where else can they find it potentially? Well, they can ask their independent store to order or then they'll have it at Sizzix or, uh, you know, like craft stash. If you're in the UK usually has things, okay. but they don't have the deal. Mine is free shipping. So I don't know what, it, whatever the deals are, just get them however you can. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to have them so we can all play. And I wanted to say that, you know, here's the little trailer. We didn't get to put it together, but that's what it looks like. It can hold stuff. It's really cute. Aww. You could put your little, ticket stubs or whatever you're but you don't have to just limit it to um the 3d you can make your little card out of it and uh it stands up actually you can't see it That's but it's adorable it no i love it yeah oh i love that so anyway that super cute i think i have blabbed on forever so <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have you switch your camera around. And while okay. she's switching her camera, I'm going to show some more pictures of some people that uh, their amazing projects they've done. So some other examples of using the chapter one projects. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'm going to pick a winner here very, very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this banner down real fast. And let's take a look at some of the other amazing projects that you can create. That's not just the journal, but using the dies from chapter one. So we're using this piece and this piece. We have a couple options here. So we first have some cards. Look at this beautiful card. This is from Julia Aston. It's absolutely gorgeous. So she has used the doily in the background of the mandala, however you want to call that. I think I'm going to call it doily because it's just so pretty. Um, here we have another card using some of the flowers that she has. I think Eileen is back. So do we? Do you want to yeah. chat about what we see on our screen? Sure, yeah. So I'm not sure who made this one. Do you remember? And if you yes. don't, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that one was made by Madeline at Armed. And she actually made that out of cereal bags, that flower. Is oh, my goodness. Made out of cereal bags. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. All right. Now, this one is from Jenny Atkinson. Yes. Sorry, that's her squeaking. That <laughs> You're wondering, she, she's, mo yeah, that was, oh, she okay. was moving her, uh, her phone around or something. It's all good. <laughs> I think I'm but this enough. is, but yeah, that <laughs> this is, is the folio um, journal, but you extended it. Right. It's super chunky. So that's like, uh, I'm not sure how thick that might be the full extent. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, but you need to read her uh, blog post about it. And if you go to EileenHull.com, you're going to see uh, a bunch of, many of these projects will be uh, shown on there. And um, so Did, you can do some of the ladies have their own videos about how they put it together yeah. or how they created that. So yeah, or they'll have a blog a with step outs. Uh, oh. Yeah. They'll, they usually on the blog, they'll talk about, if you go to mine, you're going to see links to all theirs. And then on their blogs, they explain how they do it. And uh, Jenny and I think a couple other people have flip throughs. 
So that kind of just shows you it in person, you know, because it's so hard to see just when you look at Jenny's, for example, that big chunky book, you just want to see what is in there, you know, yeah. and you can't <laughs> tell that by photo. So that's why I love the flip throughs because you can really get and you can see it in relations to your hands and you know how big it is. So, um, yeah, the videos are great. Because I'm picturing it being like this little yes. bitty thing, but it's <laughs> no. not. It's the it's same like size yeah, here. It's it is. like, but she's just expanded the Lots spine here, which is really there. cool. Yeah. 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 So okay. That's I'm trying to say, okay, here's another one. Yeah. This now is from that, Sue Eldred. Right. Now that one's cool because she made this little, I think she called it a tussy mussy. Um, it's like a, like a little floral bouquet and she used the pocket dye to make that. Yeah. Crazy. These ones. Yeah. Now you also called it a nosegay and I've heard that I word know. before and I know what that is, but does yeah. everybody else know what a nosegay is? <laughs> well, it's, I think the same idea of when you tell it. <laughs> so from my understanding is that you would wear a pin and it had fresh flowers in it. Yeah. And this is before people had lots of deodorant and you may yeah. not be showering as often as you used to. So you'd have it, it would be lavender or some really pretty, maybe some rosemary or something. And it would look really pretty and it would be a pin that you would have. And so if you were near somebody and they didn't smell very good, you would just yeah. do this. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> So it was like a nose gay to make your nose happy was the point. Yeah. So it was a, a way to like, that. yeah, that is, that's a cool way to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it's that nose, but happy smell. nose gay as happy nose. Yeah. Well, that's what, yeah. So yeah. That, that's what I think it, that's what I would know of it being. Am I yeah. right? Am I yeah. wrong? I mean, what no, do you guys, is that so. what your theory you is on that? What, know nose what you're going to learn <laughs> on these educational shows here. <laughs> We are educational, let me tell you. Yeah. So this is using that same dye again as the nosegay one, but this right. one she's turned it into a little, a little Easter, Easter bunny. Basket. I know. And that's Tanya's. Yes. So Tanya tricks them. Yeah. And then yeah. we have another one, and this is a beautiful yes. card. I love that's it. Sarah Lizzie. And that's an older dye that um, she's layered up and added on top of the mandala. And then love is one of my uh, sentiment dyes. So yeah. Very pretty. And I think yeah. we hit everybody else's on here. We've, we've, we've done all the pictures you've sent me. So yay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So are we ready to pick the winner? I'm ready. You you're doing you're it, right? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. So if your name is up on the screen here in a minute, please email Eileen. Her, I, her email address is coming. So be ready to email her and therefore you can claim. And do you want to tell everybody what the amazing prize is? Well, you're going to get $25 uh, gift card in my Etsy store. So you can buy, uh, when they come in, if that's what you want, one of these new dies or one of these. And uh, that can be yours. Awesome. So or if you've never had any of her products before, then you get a chance of picking maybe from one of her older things that are just absolutely amazing. Because this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of her products. This is not all that she has. This is just the new stuff that's just come out. That's true. So our... Should we do a drum roll for the winner? Sure. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Our lucky winner is Raven MC. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. Her idea was to create two pockets, at least this is my understanding, okay. and to use it to store all of her embellishments. So she was oh, using it as a way for storage. Yes. And I could see like having a whole bunch of them yeah, and like you would store multiple. There. Yeah. Raven, that would be you've super got to make smart. it and show us. Go to the fan club. And if anybody <laughs> hasn't joined yet, I see a lot of you have. But um, if you haven't and you want to, uh, we have 5,500 members in the Eileen Hall fan club on Facebook. So just go ahead over. We do a lot of this kind of stuff. We share what we discoveries or, or ideas like that. People post their pictures. We have contests. We have exclusive stuff in there. So we would love for you to join. One thing please answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, then we just sit you in the queue for a week and then we delete you because oh. we, we have had some really weird stuff. So we just want to make sure that you are legitimately interested in, you know, being there. So just say, I saw you on Aaron Reed makes and, you know, we'll let you in. There you go. Get in Good. there. <laughs> Excellent. And if you didn't win this time, if you've still left a comment in the past, or if you're watching this on the replay, leave a comment, 
Eileen's going to be picking a winner that she is going to have announced on her Thursday live stream on her Facebook at 4 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you go check that out so you can see if yeah. you have one. And it's another $25 gift certificate. Yes, Yay. it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I want to do the holding up of this is what okay. I made today using Eileen's stuff. It's so super cute. It I love get it. decorated, but oh, well. Ah, but I'm like, I'm loving that blue, that blue, it is I, pretty. blue and teal. It is it so really pretty. Is. Look at it shine. I mean, like you I just know. shimmers and shines. Yeah, it and is. And so I didn't do the cutting with her adhesive, which that's the, the latest that just showed up. That's that one. <laughs> but so yours, like, so my spine doesn't have anything on it, but your spine is completely covered, it's, which it's I absolutely all, love that. It's all covered. So it yeah. looks seamless is the bottom line. Yeah, it is. I mean, you get a little white at the at the joins, but yeah. you could take a marker and just fill that in. Or I don't mind it because to me, it's like a border. So it doesn't bother it's me. true, but which is kind of where I was going. Now I'm debating, yeah. do I want to go in and like add little strips of paper? I'm oh, like, you could. Eh, paint it. I don't know. Yeah. Any of those things. Ink it. You yeah. can ink it, stencil it, stamp it, paint it, distress it. Whatever you do, you can do it on here. Because it's sturdy. Okay. It's not going anywhere. It will take it. It's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I did have a question. Is this mat board only in one color? Or is there other colors of the mat board? It, it, it comes in white and cream. I mostly use okay. the white because if I'm going to do want. anything to it, uh, I don't know. I just do that as a base. But you might like the cream better. It's available so through Sizzix. It's kind of handy because it is fit exactly for the die. You can mm -hmm. buy mat board or you can use whatever. Um, and you might want to use something that's like a combination of layers, like, you know, two pieces of cereal uh, box or, oh. you know, fuse them together. As long as you can get it up to about a 16th of an inch. It doesn't even have to be that thick. But if you want to use the score lines, then it does have to be pretty much in that area. So... But yeah, Very it'll cool. cut a lot of stuff. And if you give it a try, you will be amazed at what you can cut out of that placemats, you know, the foam placemats. I mean, people have made unbelievable things. That's can, cool. In fact, in our on our blog, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. We're going to have a challenge using... Um, uh, what do you call it? Unconventional materials. And I think that's going to be in May. And uh, we're going to invite everybody to join in to see what is the like most outlandish thing <laughs> you can cut and make a journal out of. So I can't wait to see that. <laughs> my old jeans. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Why not? That'd be great. Like upcycle my clothing or something. Yeah. Or well, you just kind of tied into. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Hmm. Whatever you want. My, my wheels are spinning. All right. So <laughs> you tied into a little bit what I was going to ask. Is there any other sneaky peeks or any other fun things? So you mentioned there's the unconventional challenge coming up. Is there anything else that you want to give us a sneaky peek on, on things that are upcoming or events or anything else that might be coming down the line? Well, we do have on April 14th, we're going to have our uh, five live, no, fan five live and five Facebook live. <laughs> That's where we have five of our viewers come on and show what they're working on. And that was a big hit. We did that uh, last month and we're doing that. And then i um, trying to think there's always things just coming up. Um, sometimes I'm on create and craft or I mean, not me, but my products are on create and craft in the UK but sometimes I don't know until right before. So then I'm like up mm. at 530 in the morning trying to listen to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that and um, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else right now, except that uh, I did sign a contract this week with another company. So I'm going to be working on some new products coming out. But uh, yeah, I hope you like them. <laughs> so we got Sizzix and we got ThermoWeb and then we yeah. got to figure out another one. Well, we'll mm. see. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Or maybe it's a good contract with one of the companies. My mind is like whirling about what that could be. Well, <laughs> you might know. We'll that. have to. Pins and needles. We'll have to wait and see. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. Well, congratulations. It is well, well deserved. You have an amazing mind and your creativity is just through the roof. And I cannot wait to see what you come up with next. Well, thank you. I have to say, you are amazing for 
working Aww. all of this stuff behind the scenes and getting it all to just be look so easy, you know? Until my internet drops. Well, yeah, but you can't control that. I mean, that's not your fault. I'm going to control the internet gods, let me tell you. No, not, <laughs> you're not in charge of that. <laughs> but no, you do. Not, not even close. <laughs> you remember to say everything. It's just really. Oh, well, thank good. you. I appreciate that. Job. You do a nice job. It's fun. I think. Well, it is so fun. I think part of it is when you enjoy doing what you're doing, it makes it easy. Kind of like what yeah. you do. You enjoy doing what you're doing. So it just comes easy and naturally. So it doesn't yeah. seem like it's hard work or, yeah. or pain. It's just fun. You know, right. and so you do what you like and you do what's fun. So yeah, I try. It works. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to check out Eileen. She is over. Her link to her website is down below. From there, you can head over to her YouTube channel, her Facebook. She's on Pinterest, Instagram, the whole thing. Also links to all of her amazing team members who've been on commenting yeah. this entire time. Thank oh, you. Thank, thank you, you so much to her and entire thank team. Thank everybody. Thanks, everybody, and for coming. And everybody else who's been commenting, it's super, super amazing. Yeah. Check out her live Facebooks. You're on Tuesday as well, right? This upcoming Tuesday. Tuesday at 6 o'clock Eastern. Yeah. And then Thursday, she's announcing the winner. Four. If you're on watching from me, head on over and check her out. If you're watching from her, I'd love you to come over and subscribe to my channel. It'd be absolutely amazing. This show keeps going weekly. We have another new special guest. It's from here on out. They're on Fridays. We oh. just did something fun for Easter this week, which is cool. Good. And we'll be back noon central on most Fridays with a no new special guest. So make sure you come and stay tuned because the next one will be announced on Tuesday. All right. <laughs> I saw the little mystery. The that little mystery. Intriguing. You never know who's coming. <laughs> All right. But new people each week. So again, thank you, everybody. And thank you, Eileen, for That's joining done. me. It was so fun. An hour and a half just went poof. I swear to gosh. Blah, blah, blah. Before we, yeah, well, we can gab to the best of them, you know. <laughs> well, we're friends. I mean, it's hard. <laughs> that to makes it easier. People. Yeah. 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 We, we probably will continue talking afterwards. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one yeah. of those things. Yeah. All right. Have an amazing day, everybody. Don't forget Bye, to get out everybody. there and just create and stay safe. Bye, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bye.